The kidnapping of four Americans in Mexico and deaths of two of them as travelers concerned. With spring break and summer vacations coming up, Western Mass News reporter Reagan Locri is getting answers on what tourists should know. A recent tragedy across the border in Mexico has many reconsidering their travel plans ahead of spring break. Four U.S. tourists kidnapped, two killed after crossing over from Texas to Matamoros, Mexico to get cosmetic surgery done. Professor of History at Western New England University and international affairs expert John Back tells Western Mass News this area has been declared a high-risk region by the U.S. State Department since at least last year. There are parts of Mexico where it's simply not safe for outsiders or for Mexicans. On the map, you can see where the crime took place. Now you can see it's right inside one of several high crime areas highlighted on the map in red. These are the regions that Professor Back tells Western Mass News U.S. tourists are advised to avoid due to a lack of law and order. These red circles are areas where popular resorts for tourists exist. You can see in relation how far they are from the high crime spots. For years, Mexico has been a popular spring break destination. But after a recent deadly kidnapping, Western Mass News is getting answers from local college students on how it's affecting their spring break plans. Over at Western New England, Junior Lee Tomsky tells Western Mass News he was hoping to spend his recess on the white sand beaches of Mexico, but he changed his plans. So my parents are really like concerned about my safety and like anyone else because they're like, oh, there's a lot of gang violence. They've Feared, like if I went down there, I probably would have get gone kidnapped, killed, jumped. Meanwhile, sophomore Dolan Ayers opted to travel within the U.S. He tells us he's spending his break in Florida in order to avoid the restrictions of a resort. Outside of the resorts, you got to be careful, especially in Mexico. Um, I don't really know. I just know there's a lot of crime outside. But Professor Back says Americans don't necessarily need to cancel their vacation plans. He says the Mexican government and tourist industry have an invested interest in keeping resorts safe. It's kind of this weird white lotus scenario, but the resorts are what provides your safety, your comfort. You're honestly going to have more trouble with the drinking water than with any real danger. Now, Professor Back advises anyone traveling to Mexico or anywhere unfamiliar to be careful about going off the grid. He advises tourists to make sure they have transportation arranged and to not rely on their phones. He adds that anyone traveling to a foreign country should always know where the U.S. Embassy is located. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Regan Locri.